Good evening. My name is Father Terry Ball, serving Mercy, Iowa City, Patients, and our community. It is my great pleasure to welcome and thank you for joining us virtually this year for Mercy, Iowa City's 2021 Love Lights Ceremony. I'd like to offer a blessing in remembrance and celebration of a loved one, friend, or colleague. As daylight grows shorter and shorter on this journey through winter, we once again gather for the tradition of love lights. It is a time where we honor and remember friends, family, and colleagues by bringing light into the darkness. Lord of love and light, come among us this day and every day to bless those whom we wish to honor or remember, family members, friends, or colleagues, all whose lives have touched so many. May the love of these persons remain ever present in our hearts. May we cherish their memories in tangible ways each and every day. May the loneliness of winter darkness be extinguished by the light of love. May we experience a peace that passes all understanding because of the Lord's presence in our lives. Please bless all those whose leadership makes love lights possible. Come, Lord of light, and shine down upon us. Amen. Please join me in welcoming Lisa Stagletter, Mercy Hospital Foundation President. Good evening and thank you, Father Terry, for this special introduction and blessing. My name is Lisa Steigletter, Mercy Hospital Foundation President. Welcome to this year's annual Love Lights event, once again brought to you virtually as we remain vigilant about safety practices during this global pandemic. At the end of this year's virtual ceremony, we will flip the switch to illuminate the actual lights on the Love Lights tree at the corner of the hospital on Market and Johnson Streets. They will shine throughout the Christmas and New Year's season. I also want to take this time to thank our Love Light's generous presenting sponsors, Hills Bank and Oak Knoll Retirement Residents, who have both supported Love Lights for an incredible 20 years. Thank you for your continued support and dedication. I'd also like to thank this year's tree sponsor, Slager Appliances, for their generous contribution to Mercy's Love Lights campaign. A special thank you to the Iowa City Press Citizen for providing the Love Lights feature in the newspaper, inclusive of those who have been honored or remembered with a Love Light. They can also be seen in the lobby at Mercy Iowa City and on the Mercy Hospital Foundation website. Thank you to Lensing Funeral and Cremation Service and to Iowa City Hospice for providing resources on coping with the holidays following the loss of a loved one. And also a special thank you to Hospers and Brothers Printers. Next year, I'm hoping that we can celebrate once again at Zion Lutheran Church as we are so grateful to have shared this beautiful space with them in previous years. And I would also like to thank guitarist Tom Nothnagel and our vocalist from Oak Knoll Retirement Residents for providing the music for us this evening. Love Lights began 34 years ago as a way to celebrate friends and loved ones from today and to remember those who have passed away. Our Love Lights ceremony began as a very small event celebrated in the lobby of Mercy Hospital, where a prayer was said and then enjoyed hot chocolate and cookies by all. The tradition has lasted and grown to what it is today. This has become a very special tradition for us at Mercy as it is how we begin the Christmas season. During the past 34 years, your gifts and those of so many others have raised hundreds of thousands of dollars to support services at Mercy Iowa City. Each of these gifts has a profound impact on the hospital and the care it provides to patients, families, and our greater community. Each individual light is a celebration of someone, a loved one, a friend, a colleague, someone who is special to the donor. Together, the lights on the trees in front of Mercy Hospital send a message of love, hope, and goodwill to everyone during the holiday season. Each love light is given for a reason, and each tells a story. Some that honor friends or family members, 
a volunteer who contributes so much to Mercy and to other organizations throughout our community in Southeast Iowa. There are love lights this year to honor the physicians and other caregivers who care for patients in the hospital. The Sisters of Mercy, members of the US military, graduates of the Mercy School of Nursing, and victims of hurricanes, terrorism, tornadoes, and floods, both nationally and worldwide. And let's not forget our thoughts and prayers of support for the families and loved ones of COVID-19 losses, survivors, and the healthcare heroes responding to this global healthcare emergency. Love Lights celebrate families, children, grandchildren, and good friends. And there are those very special Love Lights that honor the memories of loved ones who have passed and are no longer here to celebrate the season with us. I think that many of us remembering someone we love very much. The tradition of Mercy's Love Lights stretches from coast to coast. Each year we receive gifts from so many places and each one a loving tribute. Whether you are a viewing because you made a gift to Love Lights or because someone gave in your name, we are grateful to have you joining us for this virtual celebration. This is a perfect time to reflect and enjoy the music, the lights, and the splendor that Mercy Love Lights tradition provides. I would now like to introduce Dwight Siegmiller, the president and CEO of Hills Bank. Thank you, Lisa. Hills Bank is honored to uh, again be part of this meaningful program. You know, this is a special time to share the human side of all of us and to realize that as a community, we're all family and connected in many meaningful ways. The Mercy Love Life program is just a wonderful way to come together and to recognize loved ones and those we care about during this holiday season. You know, there's an old saying that says, your value to a community is determined by your being tender with the young, compassionate with the aged, sympathetic with the striving, and supportive of the weak and the strong, because someday in your life, you will have been all of these. And the loved ones that we are here to honor and remember this evening range from the very young, all the way to those who've led a full life and everything in between. So even though our individual circumstances are, are unique, we're all here with a common bond, and that is to honor and remember a very special person or persons in our lives during this holiday season. You know, last year, a new movie came out with Tom Hanks portraying Mr. Rogers. Many of us remember Mr. Rogers on public television, and for many years, some of you or your family may have watched him. And often in his television series, the late Fred Rogers would say, when he was a little boy, his mother told him that whenever there was adversity in a person's life or a family, that his mother told him to always look for the helpers, always look for the helpers. She said that when you see the helpers, you know that there will be hope. So even though we cannot gather in person this year, we, we hope that you will reach out to your family and friends this holiday season because we all can support each other as we honor our loved ones, both present and past. And always remember that when you see the helpers, you know that there is hope. Stay well and take care. Thank you, Dwight. Whether you made a gift to Love Lights this year or a gift was made in memory or honor of someone you care about, I want you to know how that gift will be used. This year, Love Lights is in support of Mercy Iowa City's greatest area of need, such as radiology equipment for cancer screenings and technology upgrades that span the entire Mercy healthcare system. Support from the Mercy Hospital Foundation made it possible to renovate our outpatient surgical waiting space, our front lobby, as well as the laboratory area. This is a beautiful and brand new space within the hospital to care for patients and their families in surgery waiting areas, lab draw stations, blood draws, and testing during our unprecedented social distancing safe practices. We were also able to support our 3 West unit, updating the space for negative airflow for those who require this important care, as well as the purchase of a state-of-the-art electronic health record system, which will coordinate patient care across the span of the clinics all the way to the hospital. Your generous gifts of support to Love Lights will help every patient who comes to Mercy Iowa City to receive the medical expertise, compassion, and holistic care provided in the tradition begun by the Sisters of Mercy, a tradition that we continue to uphold throughout our mission and values. For many years, the tradition is to offer a prayer for those honored and remembered with a love light. Jenny Saylor, 
chaplain at Mercy Iowa City will offer the prayer while lighting the candles. The candle lighting will be followed by music and a time for each of us to reflect on those we honor here tonight. Lighting candles has long been a way to unite communities and families. Candles in churches are lit for healing and remembrance. Often candles can be seen in windows until a loved one returns from a far off place. Candlelight vigils and memorial candle lighting have a way of bringing light into the darkness of grief and hardship, offering a sense of warmth and brightness. Light and darkness cannot occupy the same space, for light is always able to push darkness to the periphery. As another challenging year comes to an end, grief is especially prevalent due to the extension and evolution of the pandemic. Loss of relationship, loved ones to illness, longed for activities, and much more send us into periods of shadow. Yet let us seek not to dwell there too long, for we are people of light. So as we light five candles, take note of the feelings that the words and candles evoke for you. Allow your emotions to be what they will be, to be instrumental in your journey toward wholeness and healing. The first candle is the light of love. Mother Teresa once said, when you know how much God is in love with you, then you can only live your life radiating that love. Let us seek to convey love throughout this holiday season and into the year ahead. Love does not have to be grandiose or glorious. On the contrary, love shown in the small things we do for one another can make all the difference. There is significant value when we offer even small gestures of agape love. In the Jewish tradition, there is a phrase, love for no good reason. The call is to love all people freely and without any sort of judgment. The light of the first candle signifies our promise to love with our whole hearts and with nothing expected in return. Whether in life or in death, our hearts have the capacity to preserve a special place for those whom we love. The second candle is the light of courage. Maya Angelou had this to say about courage. Courage is the most important of all virtues because without courage, you can't practice any other virtue consistently. Courage gives us the strength to seek out the love of one another. It shows up in the work and service that we do. When we embrace courage in ourselves, we can step out and come alongside others in their difficulties. Each day we are forced to confront the challenges of life and we can only do so if we have the courage to face them head on. In order to heal our hearts, we must have courage to embrace these hardships, regardless of the grief we are experiencing, the complications of day-to-day -day life, and even amid the joyous times. The flame of the second candle, the candle of courage, signifies our promise to gather the courage needed to get up each day, address the challenges in our midst, and support one another along the way. The third candle, is the light of grief. The pain of losing a loved one is intense. We fall into a dark place where all seems lost. Still the immense pain, the hollowness inside, is also a reminder of how deeply we have loved the one who has died. Day after day, we feel stuck in the new reality without the person lethargic and unable to move forward, lacking direction and drive. The very act of grieving includes unexpected tears at inopportune times. We feel uncomfortable because of the constant pit in the stomach. We wonder why the world seems to keep moving while time stands still for us. Yet by enduring these hard things, it makes us all the more human. The light of the third candle reminds us to be thankful for God's gift of the person whom we have loved deeply, the one who is now with God. Because of God's comforting peace, we discover that love lives on, even without the physical presence by our side. The fourth candle is the light of memory. Our memories contain a collection of images that come and go from our consciousness. Some are elusive, while others remain forever imprinted on the brain. Each of these images is like a brushstroke on the canvas of our lives, 
swirled together in a variety of colors, mixing with other images to create unique hues, patterns, and textures. This canvas tells the story of our past. What memories make up your canvas? What is the story your memories are trying to tell? These are the memories that have brightened our lives greatly, while others have caused us pain. We remember those people who have shared the joyful and sorrow-filled moments in our lives. We especially bring to mind the events of this past year, which continue to challenge us in ways we never thought possible. Interspersed in the pandemic have been occasions when loved ones could come together, and in doing so have touched our hearts, transforming our lives. In spite of the difficult year, milestones were marked, loved ones were lost, and still we must seek to cherish the memories we have. Like a fine bottle of wine, our memories are poured out both delicious and bittersweet. With the flame of the fourth candle, we give thanks for the gift of memory. Each light on our love light trees are a cherished memory for a person deeply loved. The final candle is the light of hope. What would our day-to-day -day life be without hope? Some view hope as a foolish pipe dream, not worth pursuing. Others cling to the gift of hope, allowing it to propel them forward. Imagine a lighthouse posting sentry atop a sheer cliff, waves crashing the rocky shoreline. On dreary nights, when the storm is at its most fierce, the lighthouse beacon pierces the rain and wind, allowing sailors to find their way home safely. As we endure life's most difficult storms, Hope burns its brightest so we may find our way back to ourselves again, giving us hope and direction. The flame of the fifth candle of hope burns deep within each of us. Just as each love light points to the hopes and dreams we all share, so too they point to the bringer of hope. The author of John's Gospel em emphasizes this. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. What came into being through the word was life, and the life was the light for all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness does not extinguish the light. No darkness can extinguish the hope that we hold deep in our hearts. No matter what life throws our way, hope will be our guiding light. The flame of hope gets its inspiration from the ninth century hymn, O come, O come, Emmanuel. Emmanuel means God is with us. I hope you will always feel the comfort of God's never-ending presence and hope in your life. O come, O bright and morning star, and bring us comfort from afar. Dispel the shadows of the night and turn our darkness into light. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to you, O Israel. Amen. Before we light the trees that symbolize the love lights, Steve Rowe, the Executive Director of Oak Hill Retirement Residence, will share a few words. When you have time to drive by or stroll by Mercy, Iowa City, you will see these trees one block south of the church entrance on the corner of Market and Johnson Streets. Hello, I'm Steve Rowe, Executive Director at Oak Hill. We're pleased to support the Mercy Hospital Foundation through this love lights ceremony. This event is a beautiful tradition that kicks off the Christmas season. Like so many of our regular activities since the pandemic began in March 2020, we've had to adjust in order to keep ourselves and those around us as safe as possible. Hopefully, the spirit of this annual event comes through to you wherever you are as you remember your loved ones today. For many of you, this will be your first Christmas season without the loved one who has been part of your personal traditions and who we honor today with a love light. For some, your loss was sudden and tragic. For others, the result of a long illness or a long life 
well lived. Regardless, all of us have been shaped by our relationships with those we've lost. Our Oaknell community has a memorial service every six months for those residents who have died. That service is a time of music, poetry, and silent contemplation. We quietly remember those who touched our lives. At a recent remembrance program, the following poem was shared. It is titled, Life Well Lived. A life well lived is a precious gift of hope and strength and grace from someone who has made our world a brighter, better place. It's filled with moments sweet and sad, with smiles and sometimes tears, with friendships formed and good times shared, and laughter through the years. A life well lived is a legacy of joy and pride and pleasure, a living, lasting memory our grateful hearts will treasure.
On behalf of the Mercy Hospital Foundation, thank you for your gifts of Love Lights supporting Mercy Iowa City's areas of greatest need, and a heartfelt thank you for joining us this evening. Wishing you all a joyous holiday season from your friends at the Mercy Iowa City Hospital Foundation and all colleagues at Mercy Iowa City Hospital and Clinic System. God bless. <music>